Hello guys, Steve here and welcome to another video. One of the most recently asked questions we have seen on our Instagram, basically from our YouTube videos, is people asking, Steve, when you talk about fly rod weights, what exactly does that mean? Which fly rod weight should I buy? Overall, this is the most asked question right now as it pertains to fly rod weights. The goal of this video is to do a simple rundown of what the weight system means for fly rods and I'll also explain to you guys what rods we use um, and why we use them here out west as well as hopefully help you guys make a decision of what rod might be right for you now when it comes to this topic there's just so much information out there to basically geek out over and if you guys want to you can spend absolute hours online going over this information this is not going to be one of those videos our goal today as i mentioned earlier is just a simple rundown we're going to really simplify it now basically what it comes down to is fly rods range from 1 to 15. the small ones are used for small fish the big ones are used for big fish You'll catch a panfish on a little rod, and if you're gonna go shark fishing in the ocean, you're probably gonna want a 15 weight. Now we're just gonna geek out here for about 10 seconds. Where did all this weight stuff even come from, if you are curious? So basically, the weight of the rod corresponds to the weight of the line you're gonna be throwing. It's measured typically in grains. So really, the fly rod is just an extension for you to throw the fly line. We're gonna talk about that in future videos where we talk about fly lines. You can practically throw a fly line by your hand if you wanted to, right? You can put weight on it and you can get it out there. A fly rod just helps you do that more efficiently. Now, if you guys are curious, you can go ahead and go to AFFTA, which stands for American Fly Fishing Trade Association. So basically, if you guys are a person that likes to get caught on stuff like that, or you're just really curious, I am gonna leave that link down here below in the description, or you guys can just search for that online yourself. Go to their search bar and type in standard line weights and then you can read all sorts of information about how exactly the grains corresponds to the weight and you can see all those graphs and stuff like that. So basically they use the grains in like the first 30 feet of line and then that's how they end up measuring all that weight. I personally don't like to geek out over that stuff quite as much so if you want just a simple rundown let's begin. So basically just to recap everything I just said fly rods typically range from 1 to 15. Smaller the number the lighter the rod the bigger the number the heavier the rod. A certain number of grams fly line corresponds to a certain weight of a fly rod. Now typically we could just say X equals Y. So for example, a two weight fly line should correspond to a two weight fly rod, just to keep things simple. Now, as you guys get more experience, certain fishermen will tell you that certain brands of fly rods, they like to get a lighter fly line for, a heavier fly line for, that shouldn't really matter to you, especially if you're just starting out the numbers should correspond. So if I'm buying a five weight fly rod, you should probably buy a five weight fly line. Now that's enough of that. Now we mentioned earlier, fly rods go from one to 15. We're gonna break that down into four categories. We're gonna talk about one through three, four through six, seven through nine, and then basically 10 to 15, and then what they're used for and their application. Let's start with talking about one to three. So basically, I would use the smaller rods, one through three, for catching little fish in small water, typically. So that would be things like sunfish, panfish, little tiny trout. Now let me tell you, a lot of people don't own these rods, but I personally love them. I suggest everybody has a 2.8 if you just have some money sitting around. My main application for those is if you've never gone bluegill fishing off a dock, just where everybody else is typically fishing them with a worm, um, you go out there with a little two weight and you hook into bluegill, it can be a ton of fun when you're just camping with your family, for example. But that's really my only application for them. I typically don't do them for any kind of serious fishing, so to say. Now let's talk about the four through the six weight rods. Now these are gonna be what the 95% of the fishermen are typically using out there as you guys see fly fishermen fishing out there. This is kind of like your happy medium. You can pretty much do all of it with these three rods. We are actually gonna come back to this category of four through six and talk about them in more detail because this is where we're gonna spend 90 to 95 percent of your time so i want to spend a little more attention on it but with this category of rods you can basically do light streamer fishing you can throw dry flies which are the ones that float on top you can throw nymphs which subsurface flies you can do it all and your average stream out here out west and same goes for the east side if you get one of these rods you can get in the water and you can do most of your fly fishing with now as we kind of get over to the seven eight and nine weight these are kind of now we're starting to get just a little bit heavier um, now we're talking about the seven, eight, and nine rods. We're talking about steelhead fishing, um, pike fishing, um, big, basically bass fishing. You could do some light duty saltwater fishing with those rods, and then even maybe musky. But generally speaking, the musky guys like to kind of step up to that about 10 weight range, so to say. 
Now, as we start to get in basically that 10 to 15 range, you're basically fishing big water and you're fishing for big fish. Now we're starting to talk about your tarpon guys, stuff like that and more offshore fishing. Now, as we start to talk about the really bigger rods, the 13, 14, 15 weights, to be honest with you guys, I haven't used them a whole lot myself. Now we're talking about blue water fishing. So you're going out to the deep ocean and you're fishing for big fish, things like marlin, sailfish, sharks, like the really big guys. I've done that a few times. I actually went out with a guide that had all the equipment for me to use. So I don't have a whole lot of experience with those fly rods. And generally speaking, if you're just trying to start off fly fishing and you're trying to learn the weights, you're probably not gonna buy a 15 weight right off the bat. Now that we've kind of covered the range from one to 15, the overall range of fly rods, let's come back to that perfect little medium of the four to six. And let's spend a little bit of time here. Like I said earlier, you're gonna spend about 95% of your time fly fishing between these three rods. Now the four, five, and six, the four is the most light duty of them all. Typically, this is probably one of the least ones I use, but I do own one. Basically, when I do a little hiking trip to like the headwater where it's really skinny, it's really thick. I like to, it's a smaller rod. Um, they're very limited in their application. I like basically, I like it for dry fly fishing. And one of the other reasons I like it is when you do hook a nicer trout on it, it tends to feel bigger. So it's just kind of fun. So now let's talk about the five way. This is the granddaddy of them all. You have probably already heard about it if you're doing some research. This is like your Swiss army knife of fly rods, probably something equivalent of like the ugly stick. You started out fishing with your worms with your grandpa, whoever taught you fishing. This is kind of the do it all rod, which is the one I usually recommend to somebody just starting out fly fishing. It'll probably last you a long time. I spend my first about five years of fly fishing with a five way and tell you what, I've caught a lot of fish with it. Now, between the weights, they can also range in size. So sometimes you have like the eight, six, five weight. What I like, my personal favorite is the five weight nine foot rod. Now, why do I like the five weight? Well, it's just a perfect medium. Um, you can fish a little stream with it. You can fish a little bigger stream with it. You can throw nymphs with it. You can throw dry flies with them, as well as you can throw some light streamers with it. So really, this is just kind of a do-it-all fly rod that will probably last you for a long time until you get some experience under your belt and you decide to upgrade, but then you'll probably kind of know what you like. Now, when it comes to the six way, it's also a very popular fly rod, especially out here out west. I bet you if we did a poll of all the fly fishermen out here, majority of the fly poles owned will be either a five weight or a six way. Now, personally, the only thing I really use a six way rod for is sometimes here, especially in the spring, we'll use like double nymph rigs, kind of more advanced techniques. We'll use some light streamer fishing. And those are the kind of things I like to use a six way for. And to be honest with you guys, recently I've shifted more towards a seven weight when it comes to my streamer fishing. I know some of you guys have asked me in some of my recent videos where you see me flinging those big streamers around, um, basically imitating bait fish what I'm using, and I'm using my seven weight, 10 foot rod. But now once again, we're stepping out of that four to six zone. That's kind of where your happy medium is. Now, what would I do if I were you guys and I was a new fly fisherman on a market for a fly fishing rod? Well, what I would do if I were you guys, if you're looking for a new rod, is I would probably go to a fly shop, consider a five weight, nine foot rod, and then have them set it up for you and let you cast it. They will probably be full of suggestions, I guarantee you guys. Now, make sure you don't just go to any tackle shop. You go to, make sure you go to a specifically fly shop. Those guys will love to set up the fly rod for you. They'll take you outside, they will let you cast it, and if they don't, honestly, find a new fly shop. From my experience, I've gone to so many different fly shops around the country. Those guys are full of knowledge. They're, they like to educate and they want your business. So this is what in their business to do. So really, at the end of the day, which fly rod should you buy? Well, let me show you guys something. Ugh. You know what? I got them all. You know what? I work hard. I'm sure you guys too. With time, you can probably save up money and buy all of them. Let me put these down. Now, did I buy all these overnight in one summer? I did not. I've been fly fishing for well over a decade. Eventually, I figured out what I like to do, what kind of casting style I have. And then from there, I kind of went and bought fly rods. And you know what? You guys will with time as well. If you're just a brand new fisherman, you're trying to get into the fly fishing, my suggestion would be for you to consider the five weight, nine foot rod. That being said, you guys, this was a really broad overview of what the fly weights mean. Um, you can definitely get into the really nitty grittiness of it. There's also different styles of fly fishing. This is just the genetic, basically, fly rod weights. You can get into the neuro rift and you can get into the spay fishing. And there's so many little niches you could go down with this world. And so you could really spend a lot of money if you really wanted to. So this is just a general overview. Each particular manufacturer of fly rods kind of has their own little area where they like to focus on and something sometimes one is better at versus another. So 
Overall, I'll take this information as a general wealth of knowledge. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little educational video. Thank you for tuning in and watching us. As always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already liked this video. Please follow us on Instagram. I will link it down here below so that you guys, if you guys have any questions in the future, you can let me know and I can hopefully answer for you guys or just make another video. So if you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If I said something wrong, please correct me as well. I'm, I'm constantly learning myself and evolving. Nobody knows it all, no matter what they tell you. That being said, you guys, I know I said it earlier, but thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you next time.